improvement on yesterday. Um, focused on some certain areas today, red zone, third down, things like that. So I like where we're at. You know, um, tomorrow we'll come out and we'll go through a, a fairly light practice and we'll travel. And then we'll get up Friday in uh, Virginia and like we normally do, kind of have a pretty up-tempo practice. We'll visit the stadium and get into our normal routine. So a little bit different because we're traveling on Thursday, but nothing our guys can't handle. You know, we try to put them in comfortable <coughs> uh, situations all the time. And so I don't expect there to be any issues. We're excited about the game. Sam or Dodeo, that would be the uncomfortable that would be a little bit. <laughs> that would be a little uncomfortable for him, yeah. So I, I really feel like they're focused and excited to play a game. You know, they've been banging on each other now since through spring and through the fall of the through summer at the San Bernardino in the last couple weeks here and it's time to it's time to play somebody else. So I think that's gotten focused in. Coach, is there ever really a way um, before the first game to tell if your team is truly ready? <laughs> no. I wish there was, but there really isn't. You know, you you have your suspicions. Um, but you just never know, you know, until you go out there and it's, it's you know, under live conditions for the first time and there's a scoreboard on and it, and it counts in the win-loss column. You just don't know. But I suspect that, that we'll go out and perform well. With all the hype that surrounds the team that you continue to have to address, are you like, thank God we get to actually play a game now and we can really see what this is all about? Or do you like the hype? Do you laugh at it? Or do you just kind of shake it off? We just ignore it. You know, our motto is kind of ignore the hype, ignore the noise. And I, I don't think it really affects our team. I mean, I have to answer the questions the players do. But, you know, our players, it's not like they read the paper. It's not like they listen to talk radio or, or watch you know, the news. They don't. That's not kids that age's world. You know, they're, they're watching ESPN or they're on their, you know, playing video games. I'm sure they're on the, the Internet a little bit. But they don't focus on those things. They kind of focus on the things that... 18 and 19 year olds focus on. So we've kind of done a good job, I think, of the norm. A couple of guys on ESPN picked you to win the national title. If they're watching ESPN, they're seeing it. Well, there's always going to be stuff out there, but like I said, our guys have done an amazing job, in my opinion, right now, of focusing on what matters, and that's coming out every day and having a really good practice. It's as focused a football team as I've been on, and that to me is encouraging. Now, how that plays out through the season remains to be seen, but right now as we stand here on a Wednesday morning, I feel good about their focus. What's your biggest concern going into the game? Oh, I have a gazillion concerns. Uh, I don't know that I have a biggest one, I just have a lot of them. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm a little bit of a micromanager, as you might already know, so I worry about a lot of things. So I can't really specify one thing. Do you feel any better about the pass rush? I know you talked about having concern for that. Well, I never felt bad about yeah. the pass rush uh, at all. As a matter of fact, I've always felt very good about it. My, I think my statements have always been, it'll be interesting to see where the production comes from since Anthony Barr's you know, starting in the NFL and Cassius Marsh is doing such a great job for the Seahawks. So I know we have guys that can get the job done. I just don't know who's going to step up, when, and how. But I've, I've never felt bad about it. I've always felt good about it. Do you foresee the, the running back by committee approach kind of being similar this year to like similar sort of rotation that you had last year? Or? Well, my opinion on running back by committee is that if you look around football in general, maybe not high school, you get the NFL and you look at college, everybody plays multiple backs. You can't expect one running back to take any snaps. It doesn't happen. It's, they're not physically capable of it. So I don't think we're any different than any other team in college or professional football. You have to have multiple backs that can play for you and win for you, and I think we're fortunate to have some guys that can do that. I guess I meant more in terms of like the rotation you had last year. Do you foresee? Uh, I ha you know what? I haven't even given it a thought. It, it's something that is uh, kind of organic as the game goes on. You see who's who's doing what and who's having a good day or maybe struggling or what types of runs we're trying to feature against the defense we're playing, and then we go with it that way. But there's really no set in stone formula. It's, it's got to be fluid. How has uh, Nate Starks impressed you over the last week or two? That's a great question because he's really impressed me. I mean, it, it started um, the first time we worked on Virginia, I think last Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. And this all of a sudden was like, I went in to us and said, who are you? You know, I mean, where have you been? And you've seen it out here in practice when he's done the service team stuff and we've worked him with the offense a little bit. Uh, he looks explosive, he looks more confident. I think that his ankle's healthy now. He's gained some weight back, you know. Uh, he's gotten over the hump a little bit from, from training camp and he seems to be really playing well. Any other guys you know, show up to you on, on scout team? Yeah, uh, uh, 
Giovanni, Gentosi, playing center, battles his tail off every play. I mean, battles and battles and battles. And, and you know, he's in there going against Kenny Clark and Ellis McCarthy, and he's about 250, and they're a lot heavier than him. And, uh, you know, you love the spirit of that kid. You know, he does everything you ask, he never complains. No one's ever even heard his name until probably right now when I said it. And, you know, guys like that, those are the five of your team in the eleven. Coach, looking forward to the Cavaliers. What, what do you expect from that game? Um, in terms of what? Just, you know, what you anticipate to go in there and face in that team from your scouting and stuff. Oh, I think that they'll be very motivated. You know, I think your first game out of the shoot, you know, everybody's very excited. Just like we feel it's time to go against somebody else, I'm sure they, they feel the same way. Uh, but, you know, I expect us to, I don't really worry about the other team and their psyche. It's more about us and how we're feeling and our focus. And so I feel good about where we're at, but we've got to go out and perform on Saturday. But you prepared for them, so how do you size them up? Is that something you discuss with us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, every week we prepare for our opponent. I and mean, that's that's why we have these things called practices. You know, we do scout team stuff and we give them, uh, our players, their defensive looks or their offensive looks or their, their uh, special teams looks. But when it comes to Saturday, it's, it's about playing, you know, against our standard. That's the kind of way we approach it. So we spend the week preparing for our opponent, but on Saturdays we play against our own standard. Is there, is there such thing as momentum heading into a season before the first game, or is that kind of a myth? I, guess? I, I don't know. I, I don't really um, buy into a whole lot of momentum. I think every game, every day, every practice, every meeting, every event is a singular entity. And uh, you know, I've never been a momentum guy, either positively or negatively. I think that if you do that, you, Things get out of whack for me, so that's not how, how we focus. Hey, coach, um, it's always first game in like about a year and a half. What is his like attitude and demeanor this week? What have you seen from him? Oh, I, I think he's excited. You know, always not real demonstrative. He doesn't, he doesn't necessarily show his feelings. Um, but I, I have to believe that he's excited. It's, like you said, it's been over a year. You know, it was a tough year for him last year, but I think he grew from it. Just for him to get out there and, and play again, I think will be exciting for him. I'm excited to watch him play. You know, um, he's a good football player. He's a captain on this team, very well respected, and I'm sure he'll have a, a heck of a game. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, everybody.